Do you want to retire a millionaire? Today, I'm going to show you, along with my other videos I've already had out, how I plan on retiring with a few million dollars in my accounts by the time I'm 60 years old. Follow along. We're going to discuss what I got so far this month in August. I'm going to go over my earnings. I haven't made a video in a few months, so I'll show you my earnings that I've got in the last couple of months. Show you where we're at. So here we are. We are in August. This is the total value of my account, $88,635. This is not my 401k. This is just a taxable regular brokerage account. So let's go here to balances. As you can see, there's the balance. Today's value have dropped down $380 today. Wow, 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 wow. Positions. Let's go over all my positions that we have. Let's scroll the screen up. So I got ABBV, Air Products, or Abby, Air Products, Ford, Lowe's, Lindell, PepsiCo, Realty, O, Coca Cola Company, Walmart, Waste Management. Scroll up some more ETFs. Here we got Franklin, Large Cap, Global SP, Covered Call, Invesco, SP 500. Boom, we got the Invesco SP500 low volatility. So that's SPGP and SPHP. We can go over those here in a little bit. Got some JEPI, SCHD, SPYD. We have BUG, which is the Vanguard Growth ETF. BOO, which is the Vanguard SP500 ETF. This is the, the most popular one that everyone's buying. VTR, Vanguard Total Stock Market. That's VTI. And TSLY, which is the Yield Max. I probably won't ever put any more money into these yield max things. They just go down. High dividend, as you can see, the dividend yield is 76.39%, but the stock keeps dropping and dropping. I'm down 21% of what you can see here. All right, so let's go to realize gain and loss. So, so far, year to date, from January 1st to August 22nd, I'm at 50.65% gain-loss ratio because I sold a couple things. I sold my Tesla that I was like a $1,000 loss, and then I sold a couple of little things, these items here. So I made $1,000 on Amazon, and I lost $992 on Tesla, and then I made $21 on this corner stuff, CLM, and I lost $65 on QQQY. And I'm up 52 cents on the TSLY. Those are all gone, so it doesn't matter. So that's what put me at 50.65%. Let's go to investment income. How much money have I made so far this year? So 2024, um, that's this year. We're going to make $2,750 in dividends. We don't pull these dividends out. We continue to reinvest the dividends. It's the snowball method. It's going to keep adding up and adding up and adding up. I get dividends. Dividends buy more stock. More stock equal more dividends. And over and over and over until I'm 60, maybe 59 and a half. Hopefully I can leave, you know, retire when I'm 56, 57. But you can see, like, I got $330 that month, March, April, I got $153. $184 for May, June, $240, July, $304.93. So far in August, I've received $164.82, and they still owe me $27.17. I'll be paid out before the end of the month. Then in September, I should get $344.29. October, $249. November, $194. And then $354 for December. Now, if we look at next 12 months, click on this little button here that says next 12 months. Right here, I should get $3,160 next year, or up till this time next year, August of 25, I should get that much. Um, yeah, and it says right here, which income remaining, 2024, this is all the income that I have remaining right here in this column. Everybody's going to be paying me out, and we just take that money, reinvest it, boom, boom, boom. Portfolio performance. Let's go over this performance rate of return right here so this is from september 6 2023 when charles schwab bought td ameritrade that's when it started counting so my my account is at 17.91 percent uh, rate of return that's pretty good for 11 months um 
like anything over eight or nine percent rate of return yearly is phenomenal. The S and P is like probably ten percent, but I'm at seventeen point nine one percent so far. So we'll get a good calculation come September 6, 2024. It'll tell me exactly where I'm at for one year. Um, so that's that. Let's go back and talk about how about my positions. So as you can see, I bought more Ford. I got 580 Fords, Ford stock. And that's that makes up 7.16% of my total account. Um, Ford has a great dividend. They are, they got a 5.62% uh, dividend yield. Or so it's 15 cent, 15 pennies every quarter for every share of stock. And their stock's only ten dollars and ninety three cents. I got a little five hour energy here. Let me get that. Just take a little sip of my five hour. Uh, so that's one of my major ones that I got. Oh, I got one hundred one shares of that. They have a 5.21% dividend. Um, see, like Walmart only has a 1.1% a dividend, but Walmart, I think, my opinion, I'm not a financial advisor. It's not financial advice. Don't follow anything that I do. Somebody outside? Oh, I thought somebody was outside. Um, I'm going to keep buying Walmart. I got 30 shares now. I'm going to buy like one per quarter at least because I think Walmart's going to go up and up and up and up and up forever. You can go to the store, you can have people at Walmart bag your stuff for you. You can order online, they'll bag it, they'll take it out to your car for you. There's people that deliver Walmart. I don't think Walmart's going anywhere anytime soon. Okay, Coca-Cola, I think they're going to be around forever. They're just going to keep, you know, updating whatever they need to update to stay with the times. Those are the regular uh, equities that I have. Waste management, you always need somewhere to put your trash. They're always going to be here. Their stocks can go up forever. Ever and ever, ever, they have a low dividend, but their stock price is going to go up, and that's fine. We'll keep them until we retire. Um, so the ETFs, so the BOO, that's the other major portion of my account. Uh, that makes up 25% of my account. I eventually want to get that up to about 50% of my account. I need to start buying more and more of the BOO S&P 500. The actual dividend on that is only 1.39%, but... The price point keeps going up, which is what makes up your 10% return, if that's what you want to call it. The Kager compound. So people think the SP 500 pays you 10% a year. It doesn't pay you 10% a year. It averages over the length of time 10% growth. Compounding annual growth. So you put in here, and then 10, 15, 20 years later, it's way up here. That's the 10%. If you put 100 grand in SP 500 this year, it might you might not have 110 grand next year. People think that's what's going to happen. If the price point stays the same, if the if S P doesn't climb, you're not going to get that other 10 grand. You'll get uh 1,390 dollars right here off 100 grand. But so you want the price point here 510 dollars to continue to go up to 520, 530, 540. That's where you get your growth from the compounding growth. You continue to reinvest dividends over and over. Stock price climbs, compounding growth yearly, 10, 15, 20, 25 years from now. And that's where you're going to get your big money at. So that's that. It's been uh, almost nine minutes. That's where we're at for August. That's how I plan on uh, retiring a millionaire. Let's go to our other page. Just a second. Let me get it up. I'll show you how compound interest works. What just happened? I tapped it in the wrong thing. Calculator site. Okay, so me personally, let's say I got 88,000, right? Interest rate will say at 9%. I'm 43 years old now, so by the time I'm 60, that's 17 years from now. So let's go 17 years. I put $500 a week, which is $26,000 a year, which equals $2,100 and something dollars. I think it's $2,166 a month. $26,000 divided by 12. So 17 years, that's going to put me at $1,441,000 if I'm getting 9%. Let's say I'm only getting 8% compound annual growth rate. 
for 17 years. That's still, that's still gonna put me at 1.1,276,000 by the time I'm 60, but we can leave earlier before that. So let's talk about you. Let's talk about if you're 25 years old, right? And you have nothing, you have thousand dollars, right? You're 25 and you wanna retire when you're 60, that's 35 more years. And you only deposit five hundred dollars a month. If you if you can afford to deposit five hundred dollars a month for the next thirty five years, from the time you are twenty five to sixty, five hundred measly dollars into the S and P five hundred, there you have one point one million dollars. You only deposited total two hundred ten thousand. You have an interest of nine hundred fifty two thousand. That's compounding growth. Twenty five years old. Retire 60 by putting $500 a month into your account. That's pretty simple, guys. Pretty simple. But, that, you know, that's just, if you want to do it, do it. If you don't, don't complain when you're old and can't retire. You're working until you're 70. You blame everybody else but yourself. It is what it is. Oh, don't forget to check out my, um, behind me, over here, this side. My Kanye poster, winning is the only option. I got my Trump shirt. Look at that, Thug Life on Trump. Uh, so that's how you become rich. Just invest five hundred dollars a month when you're twenty-five, or thousand dollars a month when you're thirty. Let's see, if you're thirty, and you can do a thousand more dollars a month, that for thirty years. 1.5 million. 30 years old, you, you finally got a good job. You put thousand dollars a month. That's twelve thousand dollars a year into the market. S and P 500. And by the time you're 60, you have 1.5 million. And uh, that's what it is. You know, you don't have to rely on your, the company you work for, your 401k, your pension, anything still like that. You can do whatever you want, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do 500 dollars a month. Or five hundred dollars a week. It's just twenty-eight. I thought it was twenty-eight sixty-six, but I'm not gonna do it for thirty years. I just got seventeen more years left. Let's say fifteen more years. Fifteen more years gonna put me at seven hundred fifty-two thousand, right? My house will be paid off. I'll be fifty-eight. I'll still have my four hundred one k, which will be like one point five million. My pension will be like two hundred forty thousand. I'll still have. Close to like two, two point five, three million. If I could stay one or two more years, I'll have well over three million. It is what it is. You do you, I'll do me, and we can all be rich one year. Mm, that's that. All right, peace out, guys.